Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful! What'd you say, bitch? Oh, we're good. Isn't the lyrics to that Destiny's Child song really? Or no, it's not Destiny's Child. It's just Beyonce. Um, The song, does it really say, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready what? for this jelly. Does it really say that? I just saw someone's caption you got on the Instagram. Computer. Let's see. That, say, that said, I don't oh. think you're ready for this jelly. And obviously, that's the first song that popped in my head because it's like, I know it, but... But also, don't eat jelly, eat jam. What's the difference? Jam is more like a fruit. Jelly's like... Jelly's like fake. I don't even know what it is. It's like the margarine of the... We did it. That was Group Mind. We did it without even counting. We knew, Randy... It's called Group Mind. Oh, Look it, it up. You know what? It is Destiny's Child. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Does yeah. she mean like the... That is that is what they say. I have been saying that all these years listening to that song and never knew those were the actual lyrics. Is it like jelly, like a, a booty bouncing? Because your body's so bootylicious for your babe. How's your yep. body's bootylicious? Okay, so what's the difference between jam versus jelly? Jam is good. Jam versus jelly. It was already in there. <laughs> Who wins? Jams are made from crushed or ground fruit, resulting in a thicker spread that holds its shape, but is less firm than jellies. Unlike jelly, jam is not clear, and you may find fruit chunks or particles dispersed throughout it. Jams can be prepared with and without added pectin, as fruits naturally provide it. What the fudge is pectin? Pectin is juice, juice fruit, uh, fruit. Juice stuff. fruit, juicy fruit. Pectin is a naturally occurring starch found in fruits and vegetables. Huh. It's a key ingredient in jams and jellies and can be used as a fat substitute. Well, how about that? It's natural. And if something's natural, that means that you should be doing it. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, that is pectin. I don't think you're ready for this pectin. I don't think you're ready for <laughs> this pectin. <laughs> Cause my pectin's so booty. Let's just for your baby. I don't think you're ready for this pectin. I don't think you're ready for this pectin. I don't think you're ready for this and yo. Oh God. I thought Randy was gonna turn around and be like, stop it! Randy just turned around and looked at my Whatever's behind me, like he was about to backhand He wanted something. to make sure he closed that curtain. I don't think you're ready for this pectin. Everybody's going to see me rubbing my leg. Oh, God. Well, I bet it hurts like fucking shit. Do you have a little... <laughs> Damn, Spooky. dude. Drake just freaking spooked you, brother. Was Drake just flirting with me? Oh, He's my like, come grace. Hither. For those of you that don't know, Drake is uh, Randy's daughter's boyfriend. And, you know... Randy doesn't like him. Let me set uh. this. Let me set the stage for you. Yeah, Grace is in her bedroom because she's not feeling well. Drake's sitting out here on a couch with the TV so close to him, he must be legally blind. Now he's watching the oh, TV. Oh, he just on- flipped me off. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! He's watching the TV on the um, TV. He's that he, was the dumbest thing I've ever said. He's. He's got a TV sitting right in front of him, though. I don't know if he just stole it. What's going on? Where did you get that other TV, Drake? It looks like a desktop computer. Randy, <laughs> or listen, Drake, I got one thing and one thing only to say to you. I don't think you're ready for this pectin. Man. Okay, so <laughs> here is what I will say. I am, I didn't know the difference between jam and jelly before I got here. Okay. What about a preserve? Is Preserve a, is, to me, is and jams are the same. Okay, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I am 100% uh, with this, the jam over the jelly, 100%. What are you rolling your eyes for? I wasn't. Oh. I was looking at that and looking up at that. I was answering a text message with my brain. Well, it looked like you were pretty horny. I am. 
have been for about what's four wrong days. why are you fucking looking around i was just uh making sure the camera's on and uh Making sure Tina is not pissed. Randy on the got floor. high. That's what it is. Rand- <laughs> Randy's stoned to the bone. Randy got stoned to the bone and is now like, oh fuck, did I do my job? He's for all no paranoid. Money? Look at him looking at the at the cameras on the outdoors. He's literally rubbing his penis. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Look at him walking so slowly. He's <laughs> he's <laughs> freaking me out. Dude, all because he's stoned to the bone. I didn't turn the, the air off, and I was just making sure that the curtain wasn't blowing up. God, this head. is literally what happens to me <laughs> when I get stoned to the bone. I'll literally all of a sudden be like, oh, my God, did I do this, and did I do that? Did I leave the oven on? Is water running? Wh- am I in a pool? and walked so slowly and went. <laughs> he's trying to be like me in the I'm spooky movie where you just walk around shake, and look. <laughs> and I don't want the cameras to shake when I walk. You don't want what? Oh, that's why. Okay, okay, I got it. Randy's straight up bullying us right now. I am so bullied. I just got bullied today for the first time in a while. From who? By Randy. Oh, I thought somebody else too. I was like, what do you mean from who? I thought you were going to say someone. He just flipped us off. What is with the. uh, He flipped us off and then Randy flipped us off. What kind? I just flipped you off. Do you guys have any respect for us as women and comedians and actresses? And do actors. you do you have any respect for this pectin? Do you have any idea how powerful my pectin is? My, I will pectin you all the way back to town. I lifted five hundred and twenty-five pounds today, and my pectin is engorged. I did not lift five hundred and twenty-five pounds today, but I did lift seventy pounds today. Wow, a kettlebell. And- no, uh, dead like a thing with the guys at the end, a barbell, a barbell. The guys, there's two men. Yeah, each there's, of there's, there's two, uh, yeah, there's two men that each weigh 35 pounds. Oh, this thing is not doing good. It is itching so bad. Oh, I'm going to end up losing my leg. Don't say that. <sighs> My uh, show, my back was itching, and it's just horrible. It's just been, it's just been horrendous. I you, mean, you want Randy to scratch it? Uh, well, I needed somebody to scratch it, but uh, this, this, I was able to scratch it myself somehow. I'm, I don't want to hear about you losing your leg. We already had some Rafe lose his leg in the last bit we did. Peg leg Dan. <laughs> That's true. Peg leg Danny. Oh God. Ugh. Yeah, but I'm I'm all about a jam. I'm about a jam or a preserve. But see, when we're talking salsas and stuff, do I love chunky salsa? Yes, I love chunky salsa. I just like I like stuff in there to let me know it's real. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're giving me a chip with like some lame ass taco sauce that has like no, you know, everything's pureed to the bone. Mm-hmm. I will respectfully decline your offer. And I'll say, no, I need you to run to the store and buy me some avocados because I'm going to make some guacamole. And also, I need some I need some thick salsa. You know yeah. what kind of salsa I love? Like a house-made. House-made. That, it's so that's like a term in the biz. Right. House-made is like, you know, oh, it, it's made here. We're not buying it from Cisco. Right, right. It, it, this is house-made dressing this is house made ranch Ooh, house made ranch house made ranch makes all the difference the real buttermilk brother give me some of that buttermilk i want a ranch that can expire i want a ranch that don't have preservatives in it <laughs> i want a ranch that if it's i leave it out ranch. for a little too long it goes bad it's done it's, it separates well not that it separates it gets a nice little film on top oh god i gotta tell my sister that i left her birthday cake out Where's her birthday cake? She told me I could eat it the other day, and I ate a piece and left it on the counter, and then ants ate it. Oh, great. <laughs> like, dude. I, I'm just going to say, sis, your pie is gone. I'll just say I ate it. Like a salsa like this? I'd rather her think I ate a whole pie than have her know that I left it out. Oh, I mean, she's just going to have to listen to this episode and know. I feel very bad for you right now. It's just itching. You should just smoke weed or something. I wish I could. No, yeah. Maybe some pills. I don't know. You want me to freak out and think that I'm melting? No. Ah! 
No, I don't. What do you think about some salsas like these? Like these black bean salsas? I liked it. And or like something like this. I mean, that is really high quality. And you know what the greatest part of this is? We all know corn is a gift that keeps on giving. You don't only get to see this salsa once. You get to see it twice. Once when you put it in your mouth and twice when you see it coming out of your bee hole. in the tarlet. And then you say, I'm sure I chewed that up. Oh, I mean, I, I love me a red onion. You know, I'm sorry, purple, purple onion. Purple onion. I love me a purple onion. I'm just digging through my purse this right is now. Just, this is just, I, I mean. That looks too fresh. There ain't even no juice in it. Oh. I like some salsa juice. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. That's that's what I'm talking about. You gotta get the you gotta do, get the whole tomato. They're just trying to make it look all cute on there. I want a juice. What you really need once you start mixing it around with the tomatoes, you're you're in good shape. That juice is gonna really compile in there. Would you say that you're in good hands? I would say you're in good hands. They put approximately one leaf of cilantro in there. Oh no, they didn't. Look, cilantro. Cilantro, You're right. cilantro, 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 cilantro. You're right. Boom, shakalaka, you, you bitch. me. I just fucking roasted you. I just pwned you. Did you look up preserves and jam? I you just got PWND. How's it feel? It. I feel like a, uh, what's it called? A noob. Dude, this is Spelled seri- N-0-0-B. B. Yep. Yeah, you just got pwned, noob. Um, th- I mean, this kind of salsa is seriously just making me incredibly horny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am just looking at that like, whoa, whoa! And look at this ad down here on the bottom. Get your grill on with Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel selling grill stuff. I ain't buying shit from them. <laughs> How much do you think a Crate and Barrel grill item is? That guy's Three- got. $300. I mean, Crate and Barrel grill accessories. Hi, I, I work for Crate I've and Barrel and Crate and Barrel accessories. <laughs> Got them. Dude, they had an episode of King of the Hill that I watched last week that, um, so Peggy and uh, Hank go to, Hank. go to a, a country music festival. And guess who's there? Randy Travis, Charlie Daniels. Oh. Randy All Travis. of these cats. And Randy Travis ends up being a huge piece of shit in it. And it is so oh. funny. He steals a song that Peggy sent him years ago. And he keeps stealing stories and songs from everybody throughout the whole episode. And he's such a huge piece of shit in it. Have you seen his uh, TikTok? Randy? Travis? No. He's got a TikTok. Kind of sad. I like how Randy Orton popped up. Why does he have a TikTok? Why is it sad? Is it sad? Because he had a stroke, not good. and he's you know he's still has visible uh, effects from the stroke. Oh, when did he have a stroke? Oh God, it's been a while. Yeah, I mean that's just kind of. Well, oh, she is tan. One thing I will say about him, though, about Randy Travis, RT, his love is deeper than a holler. Oh boy, howdy! You can't even mess with that kind of love, do you? know that if Rafe and I ever do decide to have a wedding or do whatever, we will be bumping. You, if you come to a wedding of mine or even just a party, maybe it's a fun ceremony to celebrate, hey, we've been together for 10 years or whatever the F, whatever this ceremony is, you know, you're not going to hear, step along if you feel you're not going to hear boring ass wedding jams at my what about the shindig? electric slide you are you are going to hear the electric side slide which one time one? what Both do you mean them? which one there's the electric side then there's like the clap two times stomp two oh, times no no those are not going to be there honestly you might not even hear the electric slide you are going to hear 70s 80s country you are going to hear very aggressive rap music I want that you guys your to grandmother have this party. won't be able to handle. Oh, it's going to be fun. You're not going to hear one mainstream looking ass song. It's not going to be like we're going to play. I want to dance with somebody, but that's because we actually like Whitney Houston, not because we got one little, one little song we want to hear by her. <laughs> I want to dance with somebody. It's like burning to my brain at a wedding like that, where it's like they play like. Clap along if you feel like happiness. Like that song. 
What is what other ones? Uh, I want to dance with somebody. Play celebration. celebration shout. Good times. Come on. Mm-mm. You got to play some celebration because you're you're celebrating a good time. And that's no, what you're you know doing. what you do? You celebrate it without saying it. Okay? okay, you don't have to be so on the nose with these things. What are these wedding planners getting paid for? That's what I want to know. Or the DJs. The Why DJs. would you play? Those boring songs. Because there's nothing that gets people more pumped than cool in the dang. Cool in the gang singing <laughs> celebrate. Is that cool in the gang? I mean, their name is Cool and the Gang. Traditional wedding songs. Oh, I probably should say party. Wedding reception songs. Oh, wedding reception. I wrote, oh, I should write party. Hop two times, hop, hop. Like, I want Nicki Minaj. I want Cardi B. Like, I want, you know what I'm saying? I want some fucking shit. Okay, so thinking out loud, super, see, I want to dance with somebody pops on there. Living on a prayer. If I hear living on a prayer at one more (laughs) goddamned wedding, I'm going to stop going to weddings for the rest of my life. Dancing queen. Dancing, I I love me some ABBA, but I want to go deeper than Dancing Queen. I want to get into that shit. Fernando, I want to hear, I want to hear fancy at a wedding. I want to hear how sweet it is to be loved by you. Yeah, for first day of my life is a good wedding reception song. How does that go? This is the first day of my life. I am now in the rain and everything changed. I don't know. I don't know, why, I don't know I mean, everything changed. Uh, it's like an emo song, Connor Oberst. <laughs> That's like playing a fucking Elliot Smith song at your wedding. <laughs> yeah. Let's have the guy who fucking stabbed himself. No. What about Amazed by Lone Star? I want that there. If it's my party, Amazed by Lone Star is getting played. I can promise you that. Okay. I mean,. A hundred percent. Every time our eyes meet. Yeah. And then. Every time our eyes meet. The big thing that I texted Rafe about recently was I was like. Then I touch her feet. Okay. Then I touch her privates. And my load blows her (laughs) away. (laughs) I told Rafe, I go, here's the deal. If we ever do get married, can we rent an astronaut suit? And dance to Aerosmith, like and reenact Armageddon, and we'll get like a fake space shuttle made. So he's gonna go off into the space shuttle. Oh my god! And it's like we'll have don't my ruin this. Well, we're gonna have my dad walk in in another space outfit, and he's gonna go into the <laughs> shuttle and be like, "I've got you. Take care of my little girl." Oh. And he's gonna go into the space <laughs> shuttle, and he's dying because he's saving the world. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then me, Liv Tyler, is left with Ben Affleck while my dad, Bruce Williams, is going into the space shuttle. Bruce Williams? Yeah, that's what Igor calls Bruce Willis. <laughs> he thinks it's so funny. Bruce Williams. Oh, I love Bruce Williams. Don't stop believe. That's another classic wedding song. Love Shack. I mean, it's like, I want, you know what I'm saying? I want bangers, bro. I want bangers what at my wedding. What about the Macarena? No. Everyone can dance to the Macarena. I am not having the Macarena at my shindig. Okay. Do you, would what you about play Gangnam, the Macarena? What about Gangnam style? Probably. That might be there. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that's, that's what I want. I just, I want bangers. I don't want these boring ass songs. Like I want a real ass Alice in Chains song to play. I want. Man in a box. Man in a box. Fucking Chelsea. I hate her. Stop. 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 Send her a video right now and say, hey, this is us doing an impression of you on the podcast again. Hey, honeys. Me here. Hey, honeys. She loves that. (laughs) Hey, honeys. Me here. Hey, Chelsea. It's me. Hey, honeys. Me here. Me here. And me here. here. This he- is Tina's impression of you. So I'll be talking about something. And then I told the guy, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh. And he kissed my pussy. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. All right. Have a good day. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Stop. And goodbye.
and um, action. I mean, yeah, like I want I want Senorita by Justin Timberlake played. How does what that are one? some uh, Senorita, I feel for you. Da, da, da. And then they have the part where it's like he's like, and the ladies. God, I, I wish we could play these songs. Me I too. Don't know that That's a, it's a really good one. Wanna It'll be? make you really happy. I know it will because I know I'm music affects you. Get up on the dance you. floor. Oh, you're getting up on the dance floor for show. Don't like dancing. 120 best wedding reception songs of all time. Wow. Do you know, like Randy, at your wedding, what'd you have? Did you play boring ass <clears throat> songs? Actually, at my wedding, uh, we I played some CDs and. Between my very good friend Jimmy Griffin uh, played instrumental guitar oh, in the background. That at the sounds wedding nice. Reception. Oh, that yeah, is it was nice. a very small get together. Well, that's good. That sounded nice. Yeah, I mean, I just, it's like the song Somebody Like You, Keith Urban, that plays at my wedding. I'm firing everybody that works there. <laughs> now I want to love somebody, love somebody like you. Shut the fuck up, Keith Urban. I want to hear all these songs. Nicole you Kidman, you, like. you do not deserve Nicole Kidman. She is such a great actress, okay? So, I Uh-oh. mean, truly one of the greatest actresses ever. And then you got this little ding dong Keith Urban, <laughs> this freaking ding dong walking in, looking like a fucking cheap ass fucking regular cover band in a small town in <laughs> Illinois. Look at that little ding dong freaking. What is that? Is that a goatee? He's cute. Look at him. He's wearing a shirt that's got fake tattoos on it. No, those are probably real those ones. Real but tattoos. whatever. I He's bet. He's cute. Don't even start. I haven't ever really looked like at him. This. He is cute, though. Look at him. You gotta be shitting me. Look at Nicole Kidman. He don't deserve her. He don't deserve her. Maybe she don't deserve him. Oh, whatever, boy. I mean, that hair alone is enough to get my drawers I popping. I want this haircut to be banned. He he literally combs it out like this. He ain't just combing it. He's straightening it. <laughs> That's a straightener if I seen one. Holy shit! He, and, he, and I bet he's got a chi, because it's like you, I don't know he's, what a chi he's is. had a chi, chi. You know what a chi is? They're the most famous straighteners of all time. It's a chi. You get a chi, that means your family's got money. That means your family's got a freaking big does old. It get real you, hot? They got a big old Yukon or something like that. How come it's so nice? Because it's just one of the best ones. Costs like a hundred dollars. Used to be a big deal. A Everybody of- knows what a chi is. Well, I'm sitting here telling you I don't, so that I'm not every, I'm, you know, I don't know. Well, and then, I mean, look at it, the stitching on the shirts, like, it's just too much. Do you think he wears, oh, okay. (laughs) Do you think he, (laughs) he has no shirt on underneath that, his body looks tiny right there. Look how small his body looks. He looks, I am, I'm not a big fan of this. I would wreck him. We know what you're doing. (laughs) We know what you're doing, Mr. Keith Urban. Yeah, you don't grow any other facial hair and you tape that on every morning. That is not real. Nicole probably likes it. I'd beat his ass. He speaks with an Australian accent, doesn't he? D- no, I think Nicole Kidman does. Is he not Australian? Is Keith Urban is not Australian. God, you would wreck him, dude. One titty to the face and he... <laughs> that guy'd be fucked up. <laughs> be, I mean, his rib cage looks this out. big. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, he would be a goner. Oh, I guess he is. Oh, Keith Urban in full. Keith Lionel Urban. He was born in New Zealand. Yep, New Zealand-born Australian singer. So this is what he sounds like. Hey, guys. This is what he sounds like when he's singing country. Now I want to love somebody, love somebody like you. And then he's like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Do you think you could do a little sound check? Click on that one of him black and white. Oh, I bet that's a really dramatic that photo. That looks like it, it looks like it something Randy could have done. Whoa. That's not him. Damn, he's hot. I mean, there he looks hot. But here, I mean the fucking highlights, brother. What are you why are you doing the highlights? I love it. I'm not saying that you can't have highlights. It's just they're so they look like they look like a gal named Linda. <laughs> they look he looks like a gal named Linda. His whole vibe. 
He's the male version of a Linda. Tan skin, straightened hair, dark, <laughs> d- low lights and dark lights or whatever. I'm here for it. And a hoop and a little bit of eyeliner, you know? I, I see why she likes him. Look at Whatever, him. dude. She's a fucking 10. And he de- he's a fucking four. He- what? He is a four. I Look at that picture of him with his blouse off. I never really looked at him before, but now this that I'm looking weird, at him. I don't even, do you know what this looks like to me? It looked like they accidentally got water poured on them after the Super Bowl. <laughs> Not like they're at the beach. What is she wearing? Is that her swimsuit? She's wearing what's called a rash guard. I bought one. Oh, okay. I bought one in case I get sunburned. In case of events. Oh, boy. I mean, so. That looks like Kid Rock. Yeah, that does look like Kid Rock. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wait. He had more tattoos there. He added on. He said he's working on his sleeve. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, Keith Urban just, to me, is not. He doesn't do it for me. I mean, I understand why Nicole Kidman's wearing that because she's a fine, she's a very fair-skinned woman. What is that? That was El King. To you? Well, I'm going to tell you the story. Okay. So, David, I I tagged David Spade in something earlier. Mm -hmm. And I saw that I'm telling the other viewers this. I saw that he read, he looked at it and L was texting me earlier saying, what if that really is him? Like joking around talking about, let me start over a fake account saying that they were David Spade sent me this long message saying they were thankful. I was a fan. So I posted it to my story that said, wow, David Spade sent me a message as a joke. Sure. Obviously. So then L goes, what if that really is him (laughs) as a joke? So, so then we were talking about what if that, what if he did do that? Like, what if he was trolling people by trolling people, like reverse trolling? Uh huh. So then I sent her the screenshot that said he looked, viewed it and she goes, Oh my God, I'm going to text him this right now. And I said, Please don't. She has David Spade's number. Well, I'm sure she knows him. Why? L King? Yeah. Why would she know David Spade? For real? Yeah. <laughs> Am I missing something? You don't know who her dad is? Why? But I don't know why that means she automatically knows David Spade. Because she would. Yeah, she, I she know who up, her dad is. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> she grew up around all those guys. They were all in movies together. Yeah, I guess you're right. She's so fucking cute. I could punch her. I could just punch her in her face. She's so beautiful. Oh, her little cheek, her cheeks. Her everything. Look at her. The cheekbones, the vibe. I mean, she's just fucking precious. I am obsessed with this picture of her. It literally gets me horny. Look at her. Look at how good she looks. Look how cool she is. That is, that tattoo, the necklace, the braids, the hat. I mean, I am just freaking horny. How does somebody know to be that cool? I don't even know what it's like to be that pretty. Yeah, you do. No, I do not. Yeah, you do. No, I fucking don't. I mean, look at how fucking hot and cool she is. She just looks so fucking dope. Ooh, I love it. I mean, I just, I I see that photo of her and I just want to fucking just scream. And look at her little cute little fiance. Well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about how hot she is in this picture. I mean, it's just, look at her right there. Just, I'm going to put this shirt on and I'm going to just be cool. Yeah, she's just a cool dude. She's just a natural beauty. Can tell Elle we're just looking at pictures of her because, I mean, I, I just don't want to get caught. Like, I don't want somebody to message her and say, like, hey, you know, Tina and Libby, we're just fucking literally Googling pictures of her. Oh, my God. I just, she's so precious. Look at how cute she is. I could just. So, this episode is basically us rating celebrities on their looks. <laughs> um... 
It's what we did with Keith Urban already. Well, we don't need to say Keith how- Keith Urban looks like a DJ at a wedding. We don't need to say how pretty Elle is because she's so talented anyway. I know, but it's she's just adorable. She is. Some people are just pretty and that's it. And that's a great enough skill. But she's pretty, talented, funny. Very kind. Funny. Funny as fuck. Funny. Cooked pozole for us. Cooked pozole for us. Let me poop in her bathroom. Yeah. No big deal. And every once in a while, she'll bring up the fact that I did it just to embarrass me. Now I want to love Nicole Kidman. I want to love somebody who looks like Keith Urban. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, he's just he's just not my kind of guy. Now, look what you did. You got wedding ads going all over Randy's computer. Guess what, Randy? Nothing. Guess you're getting ready for Super Drake base, and like Grace's that's, wedding coming up. That's what I'm, I'm down for that. Drake's I mean, like, here comes the bride. Just stop and wait. Yeah, Drake would literally just that's scream. How you sing, Drake. That's how he would do his vows. He'd be like, oh, suck a little bitch. Do you take me as your husband? <laughs> and then he fucking moshes with the priest. <laughs> Just kidding. There wouldn't be a priest. There would be a, a guy dressed up as Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Super bass. Great wedding song. Buddy, <laughs> got that boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, baby. Oh. I got that boom ba doom ba doom ba doom boom baby. Yeah, those are some good songs. Uh, if, what what do I want at my wedding or my shindig? I want a fog machine. I want a fog machine and dry ice. I want to burn my guests. I, I want them. to be like, put your hand in this. Is it dry ice or fog? Winner gets thirty dollars. <laughs> and if you accidentally put it in your eye, make your way over to the wedding eye cleaning station. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have an eye wash station here and a bidet. So there are two stations. Don't get them mixed up. Do not get them mixed up. Because that bidet will give you pink eye quicker than you ever had, had it in your entire life. God, what's taking the Chinese food so long? I've never been so hungry in my life. You know life. what? You better stop judging them, okay? They're probably short-staffed. And oh, I'm sure really, they are. Oh, but every I, place is. I'm sure that I'm hungry, though, too. I'm just being impatient because I know no, it's going to be excited. delicious. Oh, yeah. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, yeah. God, of just having a fog machine would be hella cool in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what, yeah. Do, you, what do you put in it to get it going? Some material. You get it, Johnny Brock's. Little. They had a, a fake fire on set and they put the fog machine inside of the uh, fireplace to make it look. And it was fucking cool. That's great. And and at some point, Tammy has said that she wants to come out to a fog machine. And I think that's one of the greatest ideas I've ever heard in my life. It's the stupidest, most awesome thing in the it's world. It's like the greatest. Fog machines are so like old school that it's like, wait, you really have a fog machine? And it's like, just for somebody to be like, yeah, I'm going to need a fog machine. <laughs> and they're like, well, I think we have one back in the back. We oh, the smell that it makes is so horrible, too. It's awesome. But, I mean, it makes you feel important. You see a fog machine, you got two things going on. You either got a VIP, and for those of you that don't know what that stands for, it is a very important person. Got a VIP. So you either got that, or... You're a wrestler. Or, or you're a wrestler. <laughs> those are the two things. You're either a wrestler, or you are a VIP. Or you're in a haunted house. Haunt, definitely a haunted house. You're in a makes haunted it house. Makes real spooky. Ooh. And uh, you're about to get freaking clipped. Do you know what's going on right there, now and there? Our oh, food's here. Our food is here, and I'll tell you what. You'll tell me what? I'm ready to eat. That's gonna okay. going to be an we're, ASMR episode. We're going to be eating on the podcast. So what, MF? Oh, so you're mad because we're eating on the podcast? <sniffs> Listen to a different one. Guess what? You're mad You're oh. mad we're eating? Guess what? You should be eating right now, too. Yeah, eat with us. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Lots of people say, oh, I feel like I'm sitting down hanging with friends when I listen to your podcast. Well, grab you something to eat. We'll grab you something to eat and let it s send us a, you know, sound off in the comments. What are you eating right now? I love when Randy has the food and then he starts to distribute it. It's it's very nice. It makes you, I feel like I generally am the food distributor in my uh, family unit. Domain. In my, in my family unit, you know. All and right. 
And I do it very nicely because it's like the person that distributes the food, it's like you have a level of respect for them where it's like, oh, my God, thank you. That is so nice. Thank you for taking that on. <laughs> well, I just like to wait for people to bring it. Chelsea Lynn said, L-O-L-M-A-O, me as fuck. L, I'm not going to listen to that file you just sent me because we are live on the podcast. And we're live. We're, li- we're live recording. And I don't know if it's a special thing that you don't want. Because I'm going to be honest, our podcast gets listened to by hundreds of people. Millions. And I don't want it to be something where you're like, oh, you can't have everyone know that song. Mm-hmm. So thanks. We love you, Elle. We miss you. I-, I hope you're still dry heaving up in heaven. She said she just practiced or did two shows and didn't puke but once. She only puked once. Thanks, Randall. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. we love you. Bye. I'm going to get water real quick. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks, Randall. Welcome. What was the total? $587? Damn. I can't believe she just gets up from the podcast and right, leaves. Dude, I'm not even sitting down. I'm kind of standing up and shit. She just gets up like, oh, yeah, it's fine. I can get up. No problem. I'm going to place some of this rice. This is what I like to do. Place this rice inside of my main entree. Here is what I will say. You got fried rice? I meant to get white, but I didn't ask, so it's my fault. Whose? Did you get fried rice? Yeah. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, that's white. That's okay. I I mean, I should not be eating up. How did you know? You're fine, honeys. How did you know I want a white rice, Randy? Did I tell you? Oh. It automatically comes with it, Mm -hmm. Libby. Randy gave me a fork to eat my fucking soup with. What an amateur. Mm. Oh, honeys, this is really good. Mm. What's your favorite kind of Chinese food? Sound off in the comments. Yeah. When you get Chinese food, what do you eat? I um, I generally go with like, you know, I love the egg drop soup, you know. Thank you so much. Uh, got a napkin distributor and that's important. Usually that's Randy. Too. Oh, that's not my fried rice. That's someone else's because there's fried rice in this. Uh-oh. But I am eating out of it. The one that you're not supposed to be eating out of? Yeah. Well, Accidentally. Who whose food is whose fried rice is that? Sound off in the comments if this is your fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> if uh if this is your fried rice that we have accidentally gotten, please I sound off in the of comments. It. Gina ate half of it. I like their sweet and sour sauce. So, so again, sound off in the comments if it's your fried rice. Oh, I love that they got all the little onions in there. Poor Rafe. He wouldn't be able to eat this because the onions are, they upset his belly. Are they upset his gallbladder? Well, they upset his heart. Oh, whoa. Really? Yeah. An onion. Like heart burn? An, an onion broke his heart. Yeah, it's heartburn. That's sad. Oh, you're telling me. Those baby corns always taste good, but they always taste like dirt. They're so cute. They have a dirt. You can't look at a baby corn and not get happy. Oh, I know. It's the fakest thing in the world. Like, is it even real corn? How'd they get so little? Did they put him in the honey I shrunk the kids machine? (laughs) Wait a second. Are y'all telling me that you put this little corn in a honey I shrunk the kids machine? (laughs) Anything that's small for the rest of my life, I will be like, did you put this in that honey I shrunk the kids machine? Was it an actual machine? I don't think I've seen it. Mm. I don't know, but I remember the dad looking like, oh. Because he was like, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, they, they, they actually named that movie that because that was a line that was said in the movie. <laughs> and Rick Moranis fucking was, I guess he was experimenting and shrunk the kids accidentally. He was experimenting, exploring someone else's body, Not and then he wife. shrunk him. Randy, that's your fried rice. Get it, brother. Poor Randy. He has no fried rice left. That's not true. There's so much in there. 
Poor Randy. You like my napkin? Oh, yeah. Looks cool, I think. I mean, I'm usually wear- rocking a nappy. A nappy in England is a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I know that because I've traveled abroad. We're not talking much anymore, are we? Well, that's what I mean, but it's like that doesn't mean. Do we need to alternate bites? Yeah. But it's so good. I'll tell you something I'm happy about. Okay. I'm happy that our relationship with Drake is really progressing. I feel like he really accepts us. Yeah, for a while there, I wasn't sure kind of what he was doing or thinking. Whoa, they let an accidental piece of chicken sneak into my entree. I got orange chicken, and look, that's a piece of white chicken. Whose turn is it? It got snuck in. You go. You got a bite ready. That means it's all for you. I'm over here complaining, dilly-dallying. Are you fucking serious? Wow. This could not have gone worse. Next time, Randy's not distributing. <laughs> what did you get, Randy? Oh, my fucking God. I'm just over here eating it all willy-nilly. Are you okay? Are you mad at me? I only had a couple pieces of chicken. You want a couple of mine? That's not my rice. I have fried rice. (laughs) This is what happens when we give compliments to people. We're like, Randy is the greatest distributor on America. That's fucking funny. I'm opening the bag bag of crab rangoon. You can hear the bag. That whisper wasn't loud enough. Is it hitting the barrier? Mm. Can you hear this whisper? Mm -hmm. How do you do ASMR on these microphones? You don't. Oh, I'm going to. You know what I will say, Randy? That hot and spicy chicken was really good, and I think I'm going to have to order that next time. Next go around. Boneless hot braised chicken, extra spicy, extra sauce. Wow. Damn. Horny. Sounds like Randy gets the same time thing every time. Mm hmm. He does not alter. Mm-mm. That's like when I go to Chipotle. I know what I'm getting. You're like, put a protein in there, put a fiber, put a vegetable. Okay, I'll take two fibers, one protein. What kind of protein do you want? Um, I, I don't know. What are my choices? Sofritas, carnitas, bonitas, <laughs> labalitas. <laughs> what? You got a hamburger? Chickenitas. Just add Anita's on the back of it. Uh, I'll take pre-workout. Um, I'll take some kale. <laughs> we don't have kale. It's a Mexican place. Man, I know people hate when we eat on this episode, but you have to understand. They do hate it. I would have think. Have people said that? Well, you got to understand, we are growing girls. We can't just be walking around all willy-nilly not eating. I worked out today and worked. You know what I ate? Some chili. With 10 drops of hot sauce. 16. We know better. Why do we do this? There was 16 pumps. What are you talking about? It's awesome. In 10 minutes, we're going to be like, uh, we could, great. Episode will be over. We're already 43 minutes in, you dumbo. Wow. Call me a dumbo. <laughs> what a loser. Couldn't think of a better insult? Yeah, I roasted you. Have you ever seen Gummo? No. Randy? No. Mm. Looks spooky. It is. You know me. I don't like spooky movies. Well, it's not necessarily spooky. It just, like, follows a town after, like, a tornado hit it, and it's, like, a really poor town. Just, like, profiles everything going on in the town. Is it a true story? I mean, no. But it felt true to me. Could it be? Probably. It was just like, you know, a small town. Small town Johnson. This guy I work with the other night called me Orange Juice Johnson. And it was the funniest thing in the world. He goes, chill out, Orange Juice Johnson. (laughs) What does that mean? No idea. And that's why it made me laugh really hard. And then he called me Hot Daddy. He Because he likes to make up names. He's like, stop it, Hot Daddy. I was like, who is it? This guy, Big Rob. Is he big? Yeah, he is big. A big dick. Well, <laughs> honestly, probably. He loves strip clubs. 
Ooh. He always tries to get me to go with him, and I'm like, dude, I'm too, I'm too old for that. He's 60, but whatever. <laughs> the dude goes to strip clubs at 60? He's living it. Well, may, yeah, I think he might be in his 50s. Oh, Lord. Could be in his 50s, but... I'm almost 50, y'all. No, you're not. How old are you? 47. That ain't 50. I'm 28. Does that mean I'm almost 30? Yeah. Yeah. Are you scared to turn 50? How old is Rafe? 42. What's the age difference? 10 years? 42. No, 14. Okay, that's acceptable, right? I guess. Not if you think back, like, let's rewind. What if he he was 18 when we met and and I was four? (laughs) You know, then it would have been pretty messed up. Yeah, that would have been weird. Because I was four years old. That's that's not how it happened, though. Would have. What With, if we met at 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 a Six Flags when we were <laughs> when you were on the fucking when we were, when Mickey I was Mouse on the, ride. when I was on the wacky <laughs> worm in the kids section, and he was doing a he was over at the thing making a video of Def Leppard lip syncing to it on a green screen, which is what I did one time all by himself. <laughs> I uh, I rode the wacky worm all the time when I was in, younger. Is that the one that was a roller coaster, but it was like a worm? So, mm-hmm. the wacky worm is a ride in Kansas City at Worlds of Fun. Worlds of Fun is truly like the shittiest name of a, for a theme park, but it's fine. Was it Worlds of Fun, though, there? Yeah. Wacky worm, Worlds of Fun. Do you think we can watch this? Oh, my God. Cosmic Coaster at Worlds of Fun first opened in the Americana section of the park in 93 as Wacky Worm and was manufactured by Preston and Barbieri. This area became Camp Snoopy in 2001 and later remodeled into Planet Snoopy. Look, I'm going to show you. You go through an apple. Check it out. That is a Wacky Worm. Oh, dude, I used to freaking rage on that thing. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. So Rafe's sitting in the front car by himself. <laughs> and you're in, you're in the back of, you're in the back I'm in the back with back Igor. Of my mother. <laughs> Igor's like, stop looking at my daughter. No. Igor's not. He is not. He's going, yo, yabby, when we go down a hill. What does that mean? That's what he says on roller coasters and when, like, something fun's happening. Well, that... When you said wacky worm, I had no idea until I saw a picture of it. That worm looks extremely wacky. Rafe was riding a roller coaster with his son. Oh, yeah. Tina was in the back. Yep. That's right, Grandpa. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, watch. Sorry, Randy. Let go of it. He, he just said, yelled let at go me. of it. Okay, so this is a video of the uh, World of Fun wacky worm. On ride from uh, 2007. It has hardly any views. Oh, look, it's going. See the little tentacles, the little head things? Uh oh. Oh, uh oh, we're about to go through an apple. Check it that. Check at those gains. As a kid, wow, this- you're zooming. So, me and Igor riding in the back because we like to hang glide there. Definitely have to duck if you're an adult. I don't know. We could ask Rafe. <laughs> Because he was an adult when you were at it. Check it out. It's about must to start getting a, spooky. Must be a big Whoa. hill coming up. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Boom. Unreal. That was, that was a big drop. Ooh. Oh, you go through the apple again. Yep. Holy shit. Nobody prepared me for this. Oh. And then it's over. Fuck this place. Nope. Still going. Oh, good. The wacky worm's still going. Yeah, this is where Rafe and I first met. He was you in go town. around twice? You don't have to pay twice? You just keep going? No, that's not how rides at a place like that work. It's not a carnival. So, I mean, as you can see, this is a really thrilling ride. I mean, the man down on the ground is actually walking faster than the wacky worm is going. Yeah, the wacky worm is, uh, I mean, boy, I thought it was super intense when I was a kid. Which shows you how much of a pussy I was. What a little 
bitch. <laughs> what a little pussy. You're like, ah, oh, this is so scary. Oh, no, we went through the top first. Now we're in the bottom of the apple. I love that the attendant's just sitting there like, uh, I love your home video. Well, that was it. So, I that mean, was, that was really fun. Wow. To think that that ride has, has brought so much joy to so many children and brought you and Rafe together is unbelievable. We are just so lucky. You know, I always, they change the name of the ride now, but, you know, I just always let them know. I, I, I actually call Worlds of Fun every year and I say, I just want to thank you guys so much for creating the Wacky Worm. Maybe they'll, when you have your wedding, they'll bring the wacky worm to your wedding and set mm-hmm. it up outside. I bet I could buy it for parts. Everybody could ride it. Everybody could ride the wacky worm and look at when we first met. I mean, the place would be, uh, you know, maybe I could just have my wedding in a theme park and everyone can vomit. I mean, I would, lo- I would love it. I love theme parks, especially now that I can't fit on anything. I especially love them. They're just so much fun. You hate him so much. I want to ride on stuff. I love rides. You do? So much. Yes. Roller coasters I'm going to be honest. That's actually really surprising to me that you love them. Why? Um, because you don't like spooky stuff. It's not spooky. It's thrilling. That's a thrill. You were wearing a bib and you're like, it is a thrill. (laughs) Let me tell you. You want to know what a thrill is? Excuse me, I need another bib. The Batman ride at Six Flags. That's a thrill. Oh, that is a thrill. Oh, dude, the Superman the ride. Superman. Superman, they take you there, and then they put you on your stomach. Coolest thing in the world. Which is the one that drops? I thought that was Superman. Um, It actually is. I'm thinking of another ride. I've been to a lot of theme parks. Igor loves them. So it's like, you know, without my dad loving theme parks, I would have never met Rafe at the Wacky Worm when I was <laughs> four years old. Very disturbing. Mm-hmm. I want everybody to know that's not true. Rafe and I did not meet when I was four. No, I'm just you met, kidding. You met in Snoopy Town. Yeah, we, Snoopy. I'm joking. We met in Camp Snoopy. <laughs> he was a counselor. I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Very disturbing. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm just messing around. We met at band camp. <laughs> he was a counselor. I was a child. Uh, I'm just fucking around. I'm messing around. I was an intern. And he was a high-powered executive. He was the president of he the was United the pres- States. Yeah, he was, he was the president of Nicaragua. Mm. Oh. Is this thing supposed to be itching this bad? Probably not. It's kind of freaky. Let me look it up. You know that Chicago, I think, has the highest uh, roller coaster ever? Let's look it up. Tallest coaster. Tallest country in the world. What a dumb question. <laughs> what does that even mean? Wound itching. King Daka. Where is that? Green Lantern, Six Flags. I think it is the one in Chi- Chicago. Itching Highest roller coaster. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I rode this one. Great Adventure. Where is the Great Adventure one? Uh, Whoa. Just delete this whole episode. Why? I thought it was really great. Because we're eating, I'm burping, I'm disgusting, I'm wearing a bib. Well, the bib (laughs) is awesome. (laughs) You're telling me you don't wear a bib? Sound off in the comments if you've ever worn a bib. Sound off in the comments if you were wearing a bib when you met your uh, partner (laughs) when you were younger. Sound off in the comments if you don't have a partner. Sound off in the comments. Oh, say, ma. Sound off in the comments if you cut off all people's feelings so that you'll never have a partner. Um, I think that was Libby. Sound off in the comments if you are too traumatized to ever love anyone again. <coughs> Stop. Sound off in the comments if you feel your heart opening back up. (laughs) Fuck, you just (laughs) dropped so much No! It was only on the napkin. If I was you, I'd get another bib quick. 
Uh, sound off in the comments if you feel your heart opening up and you're maybe opening up the idea of maybe seeing another person or you just don't know yet, but you're you're open to it. You're window shopping. Sound off in the comments if you're window shopping, and that could mean regular shopping or window shopping for a partner. But if you are walking around uh, car dealerships, uh, test driving <laughs> Porsches, and just checking them out for the fun of it, that, that still counts. So sound off in the comments. Test... T- 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 Sound off in the comments if you'd like to test drive a vehicle with the vehicle between your legs. <laughs> would you test drive a Porsche or would you be too scared? Because I would be too scared. I would scared. be scared I would crash. I'd mm-hmm. take one look at me and say, ma'am, you can't even afford to test drive this. <laughs> You're like, I, there are some of those like luxury cars that don't, we've talked about this before, that don't have cup holders and stuff. No, <laughs> get it out. Losers? Don't want it. Sound off in the comments if you have a cup holder in your car. Sound off in the comments if you have to roll up your window manually. Like this. If you got to crank it. Sound off in the comments if you know a man named Randy who distributed all the wrong food. (laughs) All of you do. Everybody should be sounding off in the comments. I love that guy over there. Sound off in the comments if you accident. That felt like an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm where we ate, both ate like the wrong food and like someone returned, you know. Sound off in the comments if you like sounding off in comments. Honestly, saying sound off in the comments is so fucking stupid and it's funny. So funny. I love it. Hey. Sound off in the comments if you guys want to hear more about this makeup brand that I'm working with right now. I do. <laughs> I'm not going to eat anymore because I'm afraid I'm going to get it on my blouse. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take my blouse out of town tomorrow. Because it has horses on it. <laughs> and you don't have time to wash it. Nope. Everything Hor- is washed at this point. Horses don't like me. Horses don't like me. Wow, you're getting very sexy with your off-the-shoulder shirt. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm so risque. Oh, I'm wearing a Walmart bra. (laughs) She's showing her shoulder, and I am getting aroused. I am getting erect. Uh, If you look in my pants, I am erect. (laughs) Sound off in the comments if you used your Satisfier Pro two times today. Use it twice? (laughs) Damn. I'm talking about the people in the comments, not me. (laughs) Libby rolled over this morning. It was like one in the morning, one in the afternoon. No, what happened is I've been waking up every night this week and I sleep naked, right? Yeah. And I roll over and I still think I'm on the movie set. And I'm, I go, is, and I'm thinking, is it okay for me to be naked in this scene? And one time Annie was laying by me. I'm like, for continuity, I don't think Annie should be in the scene because she wasn't in the last one. Every night this week. I think I'm still being filmed. Like the Truman Show? Like the Truman yeah. Show. That's a sad movie. Could you imagine that? Finding out that you're in the Truman Show? That your whole life is a fucking joke. <laughs> I mean... How much is the season pass at the old Six Flags these days? I had years? one a couple times. I think it was like 120 Damn. I remember when you used to be able to get them for $99 with the Coke can. I think you may still be able to do that. That was always cool. Or it's like $29, and you're like, oh, my God, I need a Coke. But then you have to go buy a whole 12-pack because you don't have any. (laughs) Mm. I remember when tickets were like $25 there. And we were like, God, that's so expensive. Because my dad would have to pay like $100 for all four of us kids to get our tickets. Oh, God, yeah. That's like, a, that's a lot of money. Oh, man. All the families that like have like five kids and stuff, I'm like, damn. You know they're rolling in fucking cash if all those kids are at Six Flags. They are. That's the kind of rich I want to be, that I can just go to Six Flags like it ain't no thing. Like you Because now worry. I would go and I'd still be like, can't make this a regular thing. Can't make my car payment this month because <laughs> we're at Six Flags, guys. Oh, fuck. I went to Six Flags nine times this month. <laughs> Having a, a season's pass as a teenager when you can drive is the best. 
Did you have that? Yes. And we would just... And you go and, like, make out with people? Well, no, I mean... You do the ripcord and, like, right as the ripcords let go, your partner, like, tries to finger you? I didn't make out with anybody when I was a teenager. I made out when I was in eighth grade. Okay. At Six Flags. In the whole line of the log flume. Just the whole zigzagging just like uh, wait no you didn't yes i, I am did. grossed out by that i am too i'm mortified you in front of other in front of families in front of everyone else waiting in line <laughs> <laughs> i cannot even imagine you doing that you A were 13 year old child were, did anybody tell you like, hey, cool it, lady? I think somebody was like, ah, maybe you should do that. Or, you know, I think somebody said to us because I think we were like, ah, they're just jealous of our love. <laughs> we were 13 years old. Oh, man. Boyfriend getting visibly hard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. And you're just macking on him. And every, can you imagine the people <laughs> stuck behind you? They were probably like, I mean, it was a long. Oh God, the people line. behind you were uh, literally probably like <laughs> covering their faces. Like we bought. Um, I bet their kids were like, <laughs> "Mommy." Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you were at Six Flags in 1988, and you saw a, a couple of kids making out. I'm so sorry. In the log flume line. If they had matching, uh, we bought a. a Bugs Bunny earrings. He wore one and I wore one. Oh. So, uh, you, you guys were like making out so long in the line that like <laughs> you were, and, you were getting on the log flume and they were like, oh, did you already get on the ride? And you're <laughs> like, no, but you're just so sweaty and <laughs> look fucking soaked. And they're like, oh, well, I mean, it really looks like you just went on the ride and you're like, no, we really didn't. The only point to go to Six Flags at that time was to make out. Like, go in the little time tunnel where it's dark. You're making out the whole time. Wow. The, the whole time. That is crazy. I would see kids doing stuff like that at World of Fun when I was younger, and I would just be like, oh, man. Who oh, shots make it out? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would just be like, dude, they're cool. And I'd be like, they're so like older and edgy and they're like walking around all like cool Holding and hands. angry. Holding yeah, hands but it was, or it, with their arms around each it other. It was like a whole vibe at Six Flags like that. So many unattended children, that's, just teenagers, that's everything. That's the best part. Your parents would drop you off. They don't know that you're about to have fucking sex in the time tunnel. You're literally about to dry hump each other. Do you think people had sex in the time tunnel? I don't think you could have because there was always a... a couple of teenagers you don't think you could get like one pump in and just be like you maybe could have but i was a virgin at the time yeah not that summer though lost my virginity that summer with a different boy (laughs) wow so you were a grade a slut i uh was i guess i was you were just a big hooter you were just hooting all around I mean, that is just really cool because you were the kind of gal that I like looked at when I would go to Six Flags. Yeah. And I was always just like, man, that's cool. And I'm like wearing like high top crew cut socks that go all the way up to the mid (laughs) mid of my shin wearing lame ass fucking tennis shoes because anytime I tried to wear flip flops or anything like that, my parents would yell at me and be like, Tina, you could not wear flip flops. You're going to have blisters. (laughs) And I was always like, but I want to look cool. So then I ended up wearing like my lame ass tennis shoes. Walking around all willy nilly, and that's getting like getting on the wacky worm. Yeah, getting on the wacky worm, meeting my future fucking husband. Oh god! And then I just—I mean, I would—I would be looking at these kids with low cut socks and stuff. Like, I just want to be like that. <laughs> I'm trying to think what other rides we can make out on. I mean, we pretty much made out in all the lines, <laughs> all the li- all the lines. And then if there was like a thing, like a show or something to go into, or it was dark making out if i i am trying to think today the person that i am today if i saw a kid a group of like some kids in front of me in line making out like that what i would say i think that i would be like oh god i think i would say something to me like embarrass them or i'd be like they wouldn't be embarrassed they would think what i thought they're jealous of our love (laughs) they're i fucking hate you they're jealous of our love (laughs) 
And I got in trouble for making out with that same boy in the hallway one time by the math teacher. What'd the math teacher do? She was just like, we don't do that in the hallway. And I said, you know what I do do in the hallway? <laughs> and go. <laughs> <laughs> then I got really scared and cried and went in there. I was like, I'm really sorry. Whatever. And you called your mom and you were like, oh my God, I've been making out with no, everyone. not telling my mom I'm making out with anybody because I would, I snuck off a couple times to go make out with him. I I mean, what do you what do you think you would say if you and I were in line somewhere and there was a pair of thirteen year old kids making out like that? I would, what would we do? Would we be like get a room? You know, like make dad joke bits, or would we just like be like, hey guys, you gotta cool it. This is I would, out of control. I don't think I would say anything. I would just obviously laugh. And stuff. <laughs> I think I would be like, oh god, he's so hard. I would <laughs> I would start <laughs> off by preface, prefacing anything I said. Hey kids, I just want you to know I'm not jealous of your love. Okay. <laughs> But you need to cut, cool it, all right? Uh, kids? Actually, because, no, because you don't make out like that when you're an adult or older. No. You only make out like that when you can't fuck somebody. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. And you only make out like that when you're just, like, you're, you don't know what you're doing yet. You're still, like, <laughs> figuring it out and, like, right. slobbering all over somebody. And you're just like, oh, God, it just feels so good, but I literally barely have nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had big tits then. <laughs> then? Yeah. Oh, so you were the talk of the town. I was, uh, I, you know, I just, I, if I if I knew now what I knew then, yeah, I'd have been fucking all them guys. You'd have been sucking and fucking. I'd suck and fucking. I'd be, hell yeah, I'd be like, I ain't going to have this working body for it or ever. Let me fuck somebody. Oh, yeah, you'd have been like getting on that Excalibur, that little <laughs> ship that goes back and forth being like, oh. You know, uh, uh. <laughs> like, ma'am, get off your boyfriend. You're jealous of our love. <laughs> you're <laughs> the buck in the ear. You're <laughs> you're you're sitting like against the seat the right way, <laughs> and <laughs> and your boyfriend <laughs> is on top of you, like hugging you, like the like traditional girl right. is supposed to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, he's fucking you from that way, like. <gasps> He wasn't so, a virgin, though. Oh. And he was really pressuring me. And I was like, I just don't know. He was like, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have even know what that meant. If he put his fingers in his mouth. <coughs> Jeez. Oh, boy. <clears throat> uh, sound off in the comments if you made out in a Six Flags <laughs> In a Six line. Flags line that went like this about 85 times. And you passed the same people. Dude, I time. that is a, seriously. I mean, it makes me think less of you. Then my friend Paul Puckett was there with his girlfriend. Oh, Paul Puckett. Paul Puckett, very gay at the time, still had a girlfriend. You just know, because you didn't know. He was just trying. You didn't to know in eighth out. grade. Uh, <clears throat> still keep in contact with Paul Puckett these days. I should ask him if he wants to go to Six Flags. We'll get uh, my boyfriend Dan and his <laughs> wife. And his wife's and, uh, name is Sheena. They'll push me around in a scooter, in a wheelchair. <laughs> And uh, we'll go to the log flume and I'll say, does anybody want to make out? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and we'll get, all of us, we'll get matching um, what's animals. It Bugs, Bunny, Bugs Bunny earrings. Yeah. Oh, Ginger was her name. It was Ginger and Paul Puckett and me and Dan. So. And I was like, he would play like really hard rock songs like Def Leppard. So that was like. <laughs> I was like, man, this music, I could get into this hard rock. You were all like, <laughs> you go and like buy eyeliner immediately and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Two eyeliners. <laughs> Yeah, oh, fuck. I didn't realize that I had two <laughs> eyeliners. In my mind, I was not holding two eyeliners. No, I wore, but it's I like, think it was here. It's like this. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, that's and that's evolution of Libby. So that's love, how love making out in the. <laughs> You're just jealous of a love. Just there's those adults were so jealous. They were just so jelly. Oh God, no! I bet they were so grossed out, and they were like, "Dude, am I watching? Like, if, is should I be arrested because I just looked at them for too long?" For watching thirteen year olds make out. So gross. Well, I don't think we took our hands off of each other the whole time. I bet not. I bet you were on the log flume and you were like, oh, why am I so wet? <laughs> My shorts are all wet and we didn't get any water in the boat. <laughs> You're like going in the line to the log flume and they're like, oh, honey, like the person, the parent that was standing <laughs> behind you, they're like, honey, I think 
you might have pee- made a mess in your pan- pants. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> look down. It's just so much dry humping, like whatever you got going on. And you're like, oh. And then your little boyfriend had like a tiny little cum spot on his khaki shorts. (laughs) He had jeans on, dude. Uh Oh, Oh, yeah. He he had jeans on. He was a rocker. Oh, sure. He was a stoner. Did he have a a black uh, jeans on or they were like I think they were black jeans. That's really B.A. Badass. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I bet he was really, really hardcore. I mean, he had his ear pierced. What? What more could you want? I was actually going to circle back to that and be like, so did you pierce his ear that day? Yeah, it had it pierced. previously been pierced? But the fact that we had matching earrings was, I could have married him. Well, it's know? like when two become one. Yeah. You know, two eyes make a we. So, yep. hope that guy's out there somewhere uh, just thinking about the exact same thing He's we are Facebook. right now. He's on my Facebook. So, is he still a rocker? I think so. That's good. Now, instead of, like, a Bugs Bunny earring, he wears, like, a rabbit foot earring. <laughs> and, and then I, I pull my hair back to reveal the same earring. Oh, God. And the scene goes. Yep. And then the next week episode, you guys are reconnecting on Facebook. He, he broke up with me. Wow. Probably because you weren't a stoner. We couldn't handle the long-distance relationship. I lived in Maryland Heights. He lived in South City. I was literally just about to say, did he live in Festus and you lived in, like, Chesterfield? He lived in South City. Oh, the t- long distance thing's just so tough. Yeah, especially when you don't have a, like a phone where you could actually see him. You're like on the phone, like, "Oh my god, I miss you!" And I would cry. I would cry to Richard Marks, right here waiting, thinking about him. So you listen, everybody, go listen to that song tonight and think about me as a 13 year old crying for my boyfriend who broke up with me because we lived 15 miles apart. Listen, y'all, if you're uh, thinking about opening up your heart tonight, let tonight be the night. So um, <clears throat> we're going to be playing some Richard Marx here in just a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, if you are thinking about, you're thinking about getting back out there. You've been crushed. Your dreams have been crushed. Mm-hmm. Your your heart has been crushed. Right. Your fingers were crushed by a door slam. Right. A physical door slam that crushed your fingers. It was. They said it was an accident, but it wasn't an accident. They did it on purpose to try to get you out of their house. And you said, no way, Jose. I'm not going to let you get me out of the house. Then your fingers are truly crushed. You had to head up to the emergency room. And then they told you nothing's wrong with your fingers, but they do smell like dookie. <laughs> so <laughs> and, uh, we're just saying... You know, you've been crushed. You got a crush on somebody. Say you got a crush on, you know, you're done being crushed. You got a crush on somebody. You're eyeing them. You're eyeing them. You're thinking about opening up that heart again mm-hmm. and letting somebody in. Mm-hmm. We have got a song for you tonight. Because the thing that you need to remember is that a closed heart is is like a closed book. Ain't no one going to read it. Nope. <clears throat> a closed heart is like a restaurant that's closed. You can't go in there and eat it. Mm-hmm. Uh, a closed heart is like a when the library book's closed, or when, excuse mm-hmm. me, when the library store, when the library, the public library is closed, right. and you really want to go in there and rent that latest copy of uh, the re- digitally remastered Armageddon on mm-hmm. Blu-ray, but you can't do that because it's closed. It's closed. Or you got some books to return and you think, maybe I should put them in the book drop. But you don't put them in the book drop because it's like, well, what happens if, you know, some some pipsqueak, <laughs> <laughs> some pipsqueak stick their little grubby paws inside of this little book drop and they grab my book and then I'm stuck with the fees and I go to federal prison mm-hmm. for holding on to a federal item that isn't technically mine. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to a national park, looking around, hiking. Heart is open. You are ready, uh, looking around, and you see a little rock you really, really, really want to take, but you can't because that's also a federal offense. And if you get caught taking that rock, you will go to federal <laughs> prison and mm-hmm. possibly die. Mm-hmm. Uh, could be could be a blood clot related. Mm-hmm. Could be uh, could be the high altitude. High altitude altitude sickness is a real thing, <laughs> and you know. So don't be opening up your heart too much. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take it easy. You, you gotta know? still protect it. Still protect your heart. You know what I'm saying? It's like 
You, you think your baby's old enough to be riding around in the car without a car seat? No way, Jose. Not until they're over that height limit or that age limit or that, or weight, that weight limit. limit. That's what I'm talking about, brother. You know, can't just be all willy nilly letting that kid walk around and do whatever they want. You put your kid on a bike without a helmet, you're a terrorist. Because cause some terrorists could drive through your neighborhood and uh, kill your child. Kill your child. So, again, got to protect your heart, your mind, body, soul. So, happy Memorial Day, everybody. <laughs> and uh, Randy's like, what? <laughs> I think what I'm saying makes total Randy, sense. Randy, is Randy's heart open? Randy's your heart open, sir? It don't look like it's open to me because he looks like he got a little bit of that satanic panic going on. He's thinking, should I be opening up my ears and eyes and my penis hole to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? And here's what I'll say. I'm a, I'm a radio DJ, okay? So I don't really know nothing about that. I do know that... Uh, they donate a very hefty amount of money to this radio station. And again, Richard Marks will be playing here shortly. So, <laughs> Hey, yeah. <clears throat> we have a time schedule here, Ron. We need to get to Richard Marks. I'm You're bo- talking about all this other stuff. This is a top 40 radio station, not an inspirational night show. Well, I'm training to be like Delilah, and I really think I've got something if y'all just give me a chance. And that's great. But we have sponsors, and frankly, the sponsors want to hear music. They don't want to hear you talking about open books. And whatever's going on in your personal life. No, it's an open heart, not an open book. Well, you at first. You oh, I did make the yeah, library. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I thought that was a good metaphor. What do you, do you think about it? Pers- I thought it was good personally, too, but, but personally, I'm waiting for you to play Richard Marks because we have to play a certain amount of songs before eleven fifty nine. Because if we don't, we lose sponsors. Interesting. So, I mean, yeah, that's really all I I wanted. You we know, lose I'm not, sponsors. Not- you lose paycheck. That's no sponsors. No paychecks for Ron. You could have just said you lose your paycheck. You didn't have to say you lose paycheck like you're some kind of witty, witty fucking clown wordsmith. Imagine this. You lose I paycheck. Opened... What are you doing? You making fun of people that forget <laughs> to leave the A in stuff? Imagine You know, this. My, my grandmother came from Poland. I never met her, but I bet she forgot the A sometimes. Or your. Ron. So just you lose your paycheck. Imagine Don't this, need okay? to say you lose paycheck. I open up my checkbook. Racist. My checkbook is open, and yet there's no checks mm-hmm. in there because we have no sponsors. The, the, the sponsors give me checks, which I then in turn give to you. Well, here's what do you mean we have no sponsors? Uh, I just read off moment, 25 Each moment that you tonight. talk about open books and all this other stuff, we lose a sponsor. You have to play a certain amount of sh- songs per hour. What? Uh, okay. We're well. top 40. Uh, we're... The most famous radio station for playing 36 minutes of straight mu- music an hour. You've Continu- talked for 30. Continuous music. Yeah, continuous. No commercials, no breaks. For well, how about this? How about instead of 36 minutes, we give them 72 minutes now. We double that time, and I go and fuck your wife. <laughs> and I go to your house, and I have sex with your wife. Okay, whatever you feel like you need to do so that you play... 36 minutes of consecutive music. Oh, I'm doing 72. I'm doubling down. Okay, that's good. Doubling down. Okay. Now, if you could double Lynn <laughs> down. If you could just introduce the Richard Mark song so that we can, I got it queued up back here. This record is just spinning and waiting. You're a real cocksucker. I just want to let you know that. Everybody, we got the biggest cocksucker in town. Just kidding. I'm not live. Um, all right. When tonight. We are live. We have been live, Ron. That's what I'm telling you. Have you been drinking again? I'm not drinking. We've been live for the past six hours. What do you mean if I've been drinking? The Kool-Aid? No. I'm awake. I'm my eyes are wide open, even when they're closed. I'm seeing things on another level than you are. You know Matthew oh, McConaughey? We, we is? just we just lost uh Marshalls. That's crazy. Marshall's tire and auto. <laughs> Marshall's clothing and home goods. Oh fuck. That's a big one. All right, well I guess I'll get to going. Before I go, remember, stay open, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, everybody. We got Richard Marks coming on. Keep your heart open and your booties open and your mind. Ron! Open. Okay, I'm just done. Just say the name of the Richard song. Richard Mar I don't remember the name of the song. Right here waiting. Right here. I will be right here waiting for you when this 72 minutes of continuous music is done. Now that was 72 great. minutes. That was got Richard you radio. Marks right here waiting for you. I'll be back. Do, 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 do
do, 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 do. Can you tell I don't know the song? Maybe I do. Is it, and I'll be right here waiting for you? Yeah, and okay. I was going to be right there waiting for my boyfriend, but he never came back, so. Well, all right, everybody. I think that concludes today's episode of Slop City Podcast, everybody. Thanks for yeah. calling in. Thanks for sounding off the comments, calling in, and doing what you do, y'all. We'll see you soon. And. <laughs> Holy shit. Got me. Love y'all. It is 1030. Well. Ranch! <laughs>